Hey guys, Seafood Les Clements here, Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching the channel. We appreciate it. I was pleased with the number of views and likes. Although I'd like to see the likes go higher, I was very pleased with the amount of views the last video got. So there is a lot to each and every one of these creatures. Leopard, tiger, dragon, snake. So think of each one of these as a school of learning that trains a different portion of the anatomy. So when you come to leopard, leopard teaches you about the muscle, how to master your muscles, how to change your default from pushing muscle strength to being relaxed, more efficient, so your muscles are better for speed and still able to have heavy impact. To be able to sling the muscle power using the bone as the extension. So leopard transforms the muscle, tiger transforms the bone, snake transforms the blood, and crane transforms the breath and the mind. Now, by the time you've been through these halls, once you get through these four, then the gateway opens to dragon because now the body is primed. You have a leopard body, you have a snake body, a crane body, and a tiger body. Now the body is fit to learn dragon. You see, you can't just come and start with dragon. It's a school. Just like in a university, if you want to be a doctor, you can't just go be a doctor. You have to start out at the very beginning with basic math, algebra, college level one, work all the way up. Same thing with any of, the, any of these. But you don't have to spend a lifetime of study on any of these to have success with them. Now these, all of these will make you very healthy. They're about preserving your organs. Everything in the body becoming balanced by the elements. This is the transformation of the body through elemental alchemy of the Shaolin Five Creature Fist. So this is what we're talking about. This is internal alchemy and transmutation. All right, so leopard fire is gonna burn with heat, producing energy we call chi. So the repetitions of leopard is what transforms the muscles, creating elasticity and agility, which is the mark of the leopard, agility. So for the first golden paw that I demonstrated last time, after our drill where we bounce, right? on the balls of the feet. We went down, two, three. One, two, three. And we do that with the breath. All right. So you see there's two methods. Leopard generally, balls of the feet. But if you're going to freeze it, one can come down, up and down. It has the freedom, but generally during the bounce, we keep them up, okay? One, two, three. All right. The second one, I have an older video on the eight golden paws where we're doing maybe all of them. I think one through five at least, if you go back. But the second one, same stance, arms are here. So there's eight of these. With the second one, we don't want to go past the plane of the shoulder. Here's the move, slow motion. One, two, circle. So I go over, under. I'm hitting twice, one, two, hit, then hit, okay? We'll do more on that later. Another simple exercise for leopard, same stance is this, one, two, three, constant repetition high, not the low one and then two middle like the first eight golden paw, first of the eight golden paws, all high. You can turn it. Spring, see, balls of the feet. Let me get back here. Balls of the feet. See, agility. See, balls of the feet. This is leopard creating speed. Okay, so one, two, three. 
Now you can turn this. You could go back. Or you can go forward. Attacking at angles. Your opponent swings inside all the way to the head, right? So leopard is fire speed. So if you watch people do Kali with the sticks, how fast they're moving those sticks and hitting, that energy is leopard. They may not be doing leopard, but that's the energy of leopard. Watch some of these Kali experts, same thing. You hit joint destruction. One, two, three, hitting the joints. This is all about the leopard. The leopard is all about joint destruction, attacking the limbs. You punch at the leopard, the leopard's goal is to hit all the way up to the head, to climb. The leopard's opponent becomes a tree that the leopard climbs up on okay, and attacks. Tigers tend to stay on the ground and shred their opponent. So with leopard, this stance can be used with the foot flat or up. Now, why do we have both heels up? Doesn't seem like your balance is very good here. That's the criticism that comes. You don't have any balance from there. We do it because it's difficult. If you work from a place where your balance is compromised and it becomes very good there, so balance in the sense of you can get knocked over, the leopard doesn't get knocked over because the leopard yields when it's pushed, right? The leopard doesn't provide force back for it to get knocked back. The leopard will yield while it's striking, okay? So, Joint destruction. Now, if you're not focusing on the combative element, it's just as good for the muscles. Relax, have fun with it. All right, springing. Many stances in leopard. The T stance is another. Whereas we talk about quiet heels up, or one foot down, T-stance. Okay. T-stance is good for pulling. Pulling down, striking back out maybe, or pulling down. T-stance will give you this, this yanking motion, pulling your opponent, like a leopard pulling a dead elk, same thing. Now the leopard also employs these heavy, hooking claws, not like the wide slashing claws that the tiger works with. The leopard's trying to get behind and hook, tear, carving. When a tiger slashes, it goes straight through. When a leopard slashes, it usually likes to carve, right? Like climbing up a tree in a circular fashion, rather than straight up like a squirrel. A leopard can do either. So, leopard is good for the heart. Some of the best cardio ever. Cardio is by nature leopard energy. Now, if you're bouncing with something, jumping rope, another excellent example. Stay on the balls of the feet. Just relax. Or leopard are high jumpers and kickers, okay? We'll get into leaping later on, but for now, foundational stuff. Why sat, side to side, stepping, attacking the limbs, right? If you have bad knees, hold off on the leopard, all right? Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, click the like button. Even better, subscribe. Don't forget Patreon, we are up. If I see more on Patreon, which I'm seeing, I will give more. Thank you so much. Seafood Let's Come is out.